out here doing this Uber eat shit in the rain. It don't stop. Seven day a week hustle. I need all mines. Plus all the other shit I'm doing. You feel me? I need all mines. I don't give a fuck. I'm in the rain with it. You know what I'm saying? We out here in Palos Verdes right now. You know what I'm saying? Getting big tips because a lot of people ain't like, trying to come out in the rain. So working in the rain is definitely $300, $400 a days. You feel me? Just off of being out here because nobody else wants to. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, I was, I've was i been telling y'all I'm going to do the vlogs, do the, um, the Uber Eats, Day in the Life vlog of the LA rapper, you feel me? So y'all can see me do other things besides just music and uh on YouTube talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Give y'all the whole diaspora of my life right now. And then y'all be able to grow with me as well because you'll start to see the progress where I came from and be like, oh, okay, yeah, this nigga really worked hard to get to where he at. Like, where I'm at right now, a lot of y'all wouldn't even recognize me 10 years ago. I was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mental health was all bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my maturity level was, was not here. My happy level wasn't here. My social skills wasn't here. Like, my social skills was super bad. Like, you feel me? I've always been like a super anti-social person unless I know you. But now I go places and I just talk to random people because I started to change my energy. And that alone changed the trajectory of my success. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get more people talking to me you know, about just random stuff, you know what I mean? Like, which is a good thing. Like, before that, just being closed off to to communication, motherfuckers just don't even say nothing to you because they just, you just look like you're not approachable. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah. Change is, is the inevitable for the worst or the bad. Either way it go, you're going to change. There's no way around it, whether you want to change or not. And I want to change and change for the better is happening. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't even, I can't even lie. It's, it's feeling good in this positive energy is is paying off you know what i'm saying and my advice to y'all is to just continue to be yourself you know i've always been the person that was into being myself so it wasn't hard to continue to peel off more and more layers and become more vulnerable and not giving a fuck about what people have to say about it later. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can give you my true feelings, my true emotions, my true opinions, my true perspectives on life without caring if somebody gonna judge me or say, oh, this dude is crazy or this dude don't know what he's talking about. He's weird or he a buster, he a bitch, he's this, he's that, like, you know? Like, you feel me? It's just, it's always going to be a bunch of motherfuckers that don't understand the moves you make. And they're going to talk about it. They're going to bad mouth it. They're going to talk shit about it. It is what it is. I don't give a fuck at all. You know what I'm saying? And I think what I'm going to do with these vlogs too, these Uber Eats vlogs, I think I'm going to... Um, turn them into like more so uh my thought process throughout the day how i'm feeling throughout the day uh things that i experience throughout the day 
is gonna be more so of the vlog. And then I'll give y'all somewhat of me, you know, going in the restaurants and me uh, dropping stuff off at people's door, which is gonna be kind of hard to do because I'm holding food in one hand and a uh, and phone in one hand. And even though I got my other phone, I still have to, you know what I'm saying, take pictures of the food that I'm dropping off at people's door. And sometimes I gotta call people and let them know I'm walking to their door because they put the meet me at the door option. So it's kind of hard to do the uh, the phone record while I'm, you know what I mean, delivering and shit like that. So most of it is going to be me in a car or me walking around during the time I'm waiting for an order and just giving y'all uh like how I'm feeling and shit like that you know what I'm saying you know you're gonna see me at the beach quite often you're gonna see me where the views is really really crazy overlooking the whole city of LA and just giving you my insight on on what I see in life where I'm trying to go my mental health things that I know that I'm going through right now that I know can help save somebody else's life, that can help somebody else succeed in their life. Somebody that don't think nobody understand what they're going through. I want I want my videos to be uh like some type of therapy for the people that that's depressed that don't think people understand them or understand their situation. Trust me, I understand. I might not understand everybody's situation, but what I can do is provide my insight on my life and my experiences and hopefully it changes or helps somebody else with theirs. Even if it ain't the same, we all going through something. And I, I just wanna be a beacon of light for, for people out there that's struggling, stressing, because I go through the same thing and this is just my outlet and it helps motivate and inspire me and aspire me to keep going. Knowing that I'm motivating, inspiring and helping people with their lives. You know what I mean? So uh, right now I'm about to go and take care of this order. I'm gonna get at y'all in a minute. Yep, South Central B-Ride. 